When Minnesota passed the Clean Water and Land and Legacy Amendment in 2008, voters decided that a part of the collected sales tax revenue would go to support environmental projects. As Mel Meyer reports, member of the council that oversees the Outdoor Heritage Fund toured some of the project sites that are receiving money. Members of the Lassard Sam's Outdoor Heritage Council dropped by eight sites around Cass, Hubbard, and Wadena counties. They wanted to see what the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources and its partners have been able to produce with the allocated funds. It's kind of nice to get out here and touch some of the, the actual <laughs> things that have happened because of some of the, the way we've been spending the dollars. This included the Cabacona Wildlife Management Area. When you look on your map. Where in 2015, Jack Pine was planted on seven acres of land. Jack Pine is an essential part of our deer habitat, provides thermal cover in the wintertime. The species has had a tough time taking root in this part of the state for a variety of reasons, which is why the site called for expert preparation, tree planting, and prescribed burns. The group was also able to check out one of the larger plots that was acquired by the DNR through the state funds. We're protecting sites that have rare features on them. The nearly 900 acre plot of land is of particular interest as it supports lots of mature jack pines that survived a 1959 wildfire. This is a very intact native ground layer that's still here as well as a shrub layer and an overstory. Because they were able to preserve it, they will now look to the long-term management goals for this plot and other area sites. Kyle Anderson says he appreciates the council not only recognizing the importance of this work, but taking time to come and see it. I think that was real worthwhile to have them come out and take a look at the site. Near Park Rapids, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. The Outdoor Heritage Fund is providing money for 41 projects throughout the state of Minnesota this year alone. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.